Established in 1926, Rishi Valley School is an Indian boarding school founded by the famous world-renowned philosopher Jiddu Krishnamurti. It is located close to Madanapalli, Krishnamurti's birthplace in the South Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. Playground for children. Wow. Beautiful background. Notable alumni of this prestigious school include Neelam Sanjeeva Reddy, the sixth president of India, Varun Gandhi, son of late Sanjay Gandhi, and currently a member of Lok Sabha, Aditi Rao Haideri, Indian actress, and many other renowned figures. Rishi Valley is nestled in an ancient valley under the Rishikonda Hill, where sages or in Sanskrit rishis used to meditate. The school derives its name from these legends. Set in 375 acres of an independent valley, surrounded by ancient granite hills with striking formations and tiny villages, Rishi Valley School has a holistic approach to education in the spirit of Krishnamurti's pedagogical vision. Rishi Valley was chosen by Krishnamurti for its atmosphere of peace and serenity, centered around a large banyan tree, which was one of the oldest in India. This tree fell down in 2016. Not to forget the different varieties of trees, floral plants that dot the Rishi Valley School with elegant earthy space and a nip in the air, making it pleasant throughout the year. I kept pondering how this humble dwelling had already made an impression, how nothing here seemed to be an eyesore, everything seemed to be in harmony. I stood there imagining the learning and solace this place and school will continue to provide to seekers of knowledge and peace in the years to come. I imagined how Jiddu Krishnamurti may have found this place mm -hmm. in a distant past for imparting famous, knowledge. Uh, the buildings with the, the, the earth, the, with the, earth with the, the earth with the trees, the trees with the birds and squirrels, the birds and squirrels with flowers, the flowers with the butterflies, the butterflies with the sky and the sky with the total space here. Mm -hmm. All seem to be in harmony. I wish to visit this place over and over again. You will be amazed by what you will find here. I love this place very much. I used to visit this place since I was a kid every summer vacation with our entire maternal side, families and relatives. There were times when we all walked from my maternal grandparents' village Kurabalakota to Rishi Valley, enjoying the lush green fields, mango orchards, tomato farms, hills and mountains with flowing waters and streams. Chittu Krishnamurti, who was born in Madanapalli in 1895 and founded the school, was a philosopher, speaker and writer. In his early life, he was groomed to be the new world teacher an advanced spiritual position in the theosophical tradition. He was subsequently raised under the tutelage of Annie Besant. During this time, Krishnamurti had developed a strong bond with Annie Besant and came to view her as a surrogate mother. His father, who had initially assented to Besant's legal guardianship of Krishnamurti, was pushed into the background by the swirl of attention around his son. In 1912, he sued Besant to annul the guardianship agreement. After a protracted legal battle, Besant took custody of Krishnamurti. During the 1930s, Krishnamurti spoke in Europe, Latin America, India, Australia and the United States extensively. When Krishnamurti was in India after World War II, many prominent personalities came to meet him, including 
द प्राइम मिनिस्टर जवाहरलाल नेहरू इन द नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज कृष्ण मूर्ति मैट सेवरल टाइम्स विद दैन इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर इंदिरा गांधी विथ होम ही हैड फार रेंजिंग एंड इन सम केसेज वेरी सीरियस कॉन्वर्जेशन Jaikar considers his message in meetings with Indira Gandhi as a possible influence in the lifting of certain emergency measures Gandhi had imposed during periods of political turmoil. Ha. It 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 Krishnamurti did not have allegiance to any nationality, caste, religion or philosophy and spent his life traveling the world speaking to large and small groups as well as individuals. He wrote many books among them are The First and Last Freedom, The Only Revolution and Krishnamurti's Notebook. Many of his talks and discussions have been published. His last public talk was in Madras, now known as Chennai, India, in January 1986, a month before his death. Krishnamurti died of pancreatic cancer on 17 February 1986 at the age of 90 at his home in Ohio, California. His supporters working through non-profit foundations in India, Britain and the United States oversee several independent schools based on his views on education. I feel proud to be connected to this history that belongs to my birthplace Madanapalli. Here's one of our family pictures in front of the very same banyan tree around which the school was formed. This was taken when I was 10 years old. You can see me in one of the polka dresses and my mom to the extreme right. This is the picture of that banyan tree from 10 years ago with stone benches for students to sit and watch dance performances under banyan tree. <laughs> 